Good morning, Sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game. Marissa is back, it's the weekend. Bad start. Looks like it's come out in a bit of a thick sack, this lamb. She's a twin, this mum. Big lamb, still. She has a twin, though. She's just about to have her second. So I think because she's a hog, we'll not wind her up. We'll lift this lamb. We'll keep an eye on her from a distance in case she needs our assistance. That was a wee poem to start the day. She's working away there at her second one. Got her big Tapari gift today to show you. Excited. Okay, so we've fed all the sheep and still no progress with this girl, so we're going to try and walk her down to the corner. Just step out there, Marissa, and just guide her. Hey. Oh. Right. So I say this girl still hadn't lambed after morning round, so we better just investigate. Quite bloody looking. Oh, it's alright. Oh, good wee lamb. Sorry, Mum, that should be lamb. Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Since we last saw her. Here she is, outwintered to keep her hardy. She looks good. Right, need to get her all rigged back up and ready to rock. We're going to have some ewes to dag. Very, 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 very important that you get your ewes dagged early because before you know it, the flies are going to be here and it'll be a disaster. But we have a special surprise from Tapari to today. Marissa, could you hold that camera? It is... Da da! It's a lamb tailing shoot. Today we are going to be using this for vaccinating and tagging the lambs because it's just such an easier, controlled way of doing it. Let's get it set up. Roller master tailing shoot. I guess we're just going to try and copy this image and set it up this way. Right, Marissa. Attach the two riser rams A to the sides of the shoot. Nuts and bolts for these are attached to them. Right, so, yeah, these. Yep. Right, next thing. Attach the two suspension droppers to the tubes at the top of the riser. They're held in place with kips through pre-drilled holes. These let you adjust the overall height of the guide. No, curve bit. No, of course, curve bit at the top because then it's easier to slide them in. Obviously. Obviously, Cammy. Right, slot, slot that in there, Marissa. That's it. Let's be gentle with it. Oh, right. Don't, don't scratch it. This must be the legs here. So this is uh, thanks to Jim. He sent me a package of like old stuff he used when he was shepherding. Good on you, Jim. Good knife. I was needing one because Marissa lost my other one. Well, allegedly, I think I lost it, but I'm blaming Marissa. Because you should never blame yourself. You just do this. And this, so let's put them like there, let's see, for talking sake, oh, right, hook it around that way, right, that's going to sit on the ground and that's going to hook on the end here, go right, right, I want it straight onto this here, that's it, oh. beautiful, and then you just hook, yeah, just sit on the ground, yep, hey, come on Jock, uh, What's your head? Oh, well ducked. Keep your head down, you're gonna hit your head. Oh, well ducked. Come on in here. Come on, get these lambs. Come on. Come on, Jock. Well done. Come on. Get the lambs out. This is what we had you for, for these jobs. That's it. Turn the lambs around. Uh, bees are probably easier with Jock there. Okay, things we're doing today, ear tags for every lamb. We have Kavex and 10 for the only reason. We didn't vaccinate the lambs last year, but we thought we'd do it this year because like, I really do think you should vaccinate them and this is the cheapest option, which isn't the correct way to look at things, I accept. Let me know what you think of this. Off to a bad start. Got this Kavex and stuff, never got it before. Just assumed it'd be like Heptavac and have a little hoop for hanging. It doesn't. 
another reason probably why it's cheaper. Anyway, it is what it is. I've only got this kind of gun because I prefer this kind of gun. It's all go. Many hands make light work. We're creating a group using Flot Watch. And I'm just scanning all the tags first. Um, so yeah, just creating a group. Read a heap of tags so we don't have to read every individual tag as we go. And then we're ready to rock. Maybe a bit of footering about until we get started, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We always do. Yeah. Did I tell you guys about my finger? I'm trying to save the fingernail. I'll show you it later. It's it's teetering on the edge. It's about to lift off, so I don't want it to lift off while we're jagging lambs. Is this what love is, Lizzie? You said that last time. Deborah, is this what love is? It must be. It must be That's love. It. Aye, it's not here. It's just the nails coming off. All right, try that. Okay, so we do have a handful of younger lambs like this one that are under a week old that still need to be marked, which is in, in essentially what this is really for. Although most of our older lambs are marked. Let's uh, pop that in there, Marissa. She don't know how to, you sit it on its bum, under the chute, no, it goes under this. Legs either side, you make sure it's legs either side, and then slide it down. And then legs either side. There you go, and then just slide it down. Like that. <laughs> Why is that funny? It does look very funny, but the lamb is totally immobilised. It can't hurt itself, it can't hurt us. And you can do your, your vaccinations, your marking. It'll come to the bottom here. I think we just need to take it. Oh, we just need to tight, lift this up slightly. You hold that, Marissa. We just need to adjust it to suit. Let's do that there. So then the lamb just slides down on the rollers like this to here. And then we do what we need to do. So dead easy there, to there. When you're doing the tails, when you're doing the testicles, dead easy. All presented. There, there, done. I've tagged this lamb, it's had its vaccine, and then I just push this lever. And the wee lamb drops out. Well, it was our first go and it was all pretty manic, so we're just having a wee <laughs> bite of lunch here. Mum made some cheese and toast. Jock's having a banana. That's what it's all about. Oh, Marissa just snuck away to some concert. What a life. Okay, so we have the, this bad boy on the go again. The race well. HD4 auto clamp. Jobs we're doing today. Machine rigged up because we left our... I say we. I left our battery shears out in the rain. And they got wrecked. Rigged up here. We've done 19 already while this was charging. 71 kilos is the average weight. We are dosing them with a adult uh, fluke drench, just a, a, a white wormer, 1.5 times to kill adult fluke. That's why we're dosing the ewes today. We're halfway through them. We're also dagging them here, and of course, when we're dagging sheep on this thing, we just press this. She pops over here. I push this. She pops over there. And then we use this here. Watching the hamstrings, of course. I would argue this is like one of the most important jobs you can do this time of year. So all that dung and stuff I was taking off around the tail. Another two weeks and the flies will be here. And these years will be getting hammered with flies. So like crutching them out like that, not only is it amazing for preventing fly strike, the shearers will love it as well. Deborah's first ever time dozing sheep. I'll have to tell her it's not always this fancy. Watching our bag, our vessel there as well, obviously. Oh, what a wee short tail she's got. I wonder who rung that one. Jeez.
So Lizzie didn't have the microphone on here, but she was trying to show us that this sheep has already got fly strike. This was the 29th of April, and as you see there, maggots already. Don't underestimate the importance of dagging out your dirty sheep. So I've dropped the ewes off first. Lizzie's just coming with the lambs. I'm not too worried about the lambs because I've just moved on to a fresh bite of grass. Albeit there's a few, there's a few rushes here. It's a 60 acre field. They've been separated from the lambs now for several hours and the bags are swole. You know, their udders are swole. I should, we call them bags, but you'd say udders. Look at all those clean tails up. I how late it is in the day. Yeah. That cheer you up, Jock. Grass. <laughs> Remember this girl from this morning? Time you're out of there, lass. Nice to see you bonding with your wee lamb. There we go. I'll just leave that like that. You leave in your own time. Night, night. That's us for this one, sheep fans. See you tomorrow for the next one.